Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. I want to bring you this discussion this afternoon about a, an economical way to have your own ballistic shooting computer. And you can accomplish that by taking an old cell phone that you're not using and put in some certain apps and things like that and have a dedicated ballistic shooting computer um, for yourself that really competes with a lot of the uh, dedicated ones. And um, so it has a lot of good features that you can put into it and we're going to talk a little bit about that. Let me first say that I am far from an expert when it comes to long range shooting and uh, there's plenty of guys that have YouTube channels that are really experts in that field. Um, I'm continually learning new things and stuff like that. So that's, uh, so that's something to keep in mind that you may want to reach out uh, to those channels and kind of look at what they uh, have to say as far as the application of long range shooting. So one of the things I'll say is don't ever depend on electronic for this type of application. So you want to make sure you have your backup, what I call analog items. So like here, if you notice, I have some uh, dope cards or cheat sheets. Like this is the ones I did recently for the ACSS reticle that I have in now. Um, so I showed these the other day and how to print these off for free. Here's some older ones I have uh, that I've printed up in the past. Some uh, ballistic charts and shooting tables and all kinds of things that I've done. So I'll always have these as a backup. Now, if your cell phone is working correctly, then you really don't have to worry about these as much, right? So also analog, meaning that if you need a compass, I would make sure you have a good lensatic compass to have uh, on hand that you do not depend on batteries or electronics. So let's talk about the unit itself and kind of what I got going on here. Um, I've got mine in this arm, arm strap. And the reason is, and I'll show you here in a second, but I picked this up at my local Dick Sporting Goods on clearance for $5, and it was normally $20, and after buying it um, and using it a little bit, I would say I would spend the $20 anyway. Um, I've had some of these in the past for this purpose, and I didn't really, they, were, they wasn't that great of quality. This one is, this one's made by Belkin, B-E-L-K-I-N, and um, works great. I think it's going to offer some waterproof uh, protection. It's not waterproof, but it will definitely um, survive a rainstorm kind of thing uh, and still be able to use the apps and things that I'm going to show you. So it's pretty simple. It goes around your arm. It's uh, got a flap that you feed the phone in just like that. And so the reason I have this is so I don't have to worry about keeping up with my phone and where it's at and things like that. <clears throat> These are originally designed for, I guess, like runners that would use them uh, listening to music and stuff uh, while they are running and have their cell phone. So if you look, I would have it right here on my forearm. That way I can actually uh, look at the data. Uh, it's on my weak arm uh, weekend where I can then still be in a shooting position, but yet at a glance I can use this uh, information that's available uh, that I have on my cell phone itself. So let's take a look at what I have going on. First off, what I did was I cleared out anything that was not relevant. So any old pictures, just anything like that, I just went ahead and cleared those out. Any old apps that I had, did away with them. So, and on the home screen here, I did away with everything that uh, was not relevant and I only put on things that I would potentially use. So let's look at a couple basic things that come on a cell phone that you don't have to uh, actually um, download. So a calculator comes on every smartphone that uh, that's out. And uh, so if you need to do calculations and stuff, you do have the calculator uh, real handy. You also have a memo. Now let me explain memo and what I've used it for. So <clears throat> we talk about these cards here. So we're creating data or dope, uh, data on previous engagement, so we'll know how to dial in our scopes with certain ammunition. So, But one of the things I did here was I made myself a note that my mechanical zero, and I just put this in for now, and I'll tell you why here in a minute, is 4.5 revolutions. So what that means is, so my scope at the 100-yard zero, which I have put in here, and to max it out to the highest elevation that it's capable of, it takes 4.5 revolutions all the way up to, to lock it out at the top. So that means if I ever am dialing in, 
my dope and I don't know and I can't remember where my zero is then I can go all the way back to the top and start counting backwards down to 4.5 and I should be at my mechanical zero. Mechanical zero meaning that is where you originally zeroed your rifle in my case at 100 yards so on your turret so this right here is an easy way to do that just make sure you make a note of your mechanical zero so that's one of my uh, memos that I have in this phone the other memo is I've already started one so if you look at the top it says Winchester 168 grain Sierra Match King and out here it says yards and then down below yards it starts at a hundred and then it goes 200, 225, 250, 275. So they're in 25 yard increments all the way out to 1,000 yards. And then I would, over here, it says elevation. So I'll know how to dial in my scope to be able to hit all those uh, spots uh, as far as yardage. And then I'll start building this as a data card. And then you can, if you want to start another one, all you have to do on your, uh, your on any phone, most of them are the same. But on my case, I would hit the plus, enter the title. So if I wanted to, uh, if I was doing a hand load, I would put that data, you know, that information up here. If I was uh, shooting maybe a Hornady or something, then I would put that, and then I would start the same thing over again. Like most cell phones, you can copy and paste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a few of these. Um, without the information so I don't have to go back and delete it so I'm going to take this and copy and paste all that and then I'm going to make uh, probably five or six blanks of different weight bullets and stuff like that that as I, as I start using them. So that's two features that you don't have to download or anything like that. So on this particular phone I have the sniper calculator I don't use this one that often, uh, but it is here. Uh, it does come in handy, but I don't use it that much. So you have that you have US Topo maps and this right here uh, gives you the terrain elevations things like that so that may come in handy in a long-range shooting application then I have street lock and I'll talk about that here in a minute uh, a uh, barometer this tells me my altitude and it also tells me the barometric pressure so this right here comes in handy with long-range shooting also also the smart compass Hang on a minute. The smart compass, again, we're not going to depend on this 100%, but if it's everything's working correctly, there's nothing wrong with using something like this um, when you are doing your long range uh, precision shooting. Okay? So, let's go back to Streelock a minute. Streelock is one of the ones that I use uh, the most. Streelock Pro, uh, it's about $12. I think it's $11.99 to purchase this. And this right here is a, a great, great app. This right here, you can put in everything you need about your weather. Um, it based on weather stations. It has, um, you can build each rifle. So if I want to change rifles and I want to add a rifle, just hit add rifle. Add rifle, let's see. Oh yeah, so here is uh, where it says change rifle, then I would put in, let's say the first one I had was a Savage Model 10, this one may be my Remington 700, then you would start building it out. So go in here, delete this out, uh, Remington, blah, 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 and then you just fill all the blanks in. The scope, uh, you would... Uh, Here's the thing. Here's the reason I went with the Pro for $12. The original Street Lock that's free didn't fit my application because it did not have the uh, new scope that I purchased. It didn't have that information in the uh, free version. It only had it in the Pro version. So I needed to buy that to be able to do it. It's it's um, currently set at the Mil dot USMC scope. And if you look, I can go down here, and it's got hundreds and hundreds of scopes, different ones that you may use. So let me just stop it here. So it's even got uh, Sig Sauer scopes. It's got, let's see, uh, I'm sure it's got all the Schmidt and Bender stuff. The it's, and it's got it by make, it's got it by make and model. So you can just click that, and a lot of that information will already be in there as far as the magnification. And you don't have to do none of that. Um, so let's get back out of this. All right, so then I'm going to uh, put in, uh, hang on a minute. So I'm back to my original home screen, 
And uh, so my scope, if you look, oh, hang on, Savage Model 10, go back to that, okay. So Savage Model 10, the scope is uh, the ACSS HUD reticle, all that's in place. It is in mils. And then you can use that uh, to put in your information. This is not a tutorial about this uh, uh, Strelock Pro, but I just kind of wanted to uh, give you some ideas what you can put into this. This is a, the the cell phone is a very powerful computer, really, and so it allows you to put in a lot of this stuff. So I would highly recommend taking an old cell phone, dedicating it just to this. Um, also, it has a camera, just like all smartphones. So if I needed to take pictures or of terrain whatever <clears throat> or just wanted to go down and take a picture of a target that I was proud of uh, it's right here uh, at my fingertips where I don't have to worry about my dedicated cell phone that I use and um, I'll have it right here and I can store all this information in this and I'll be dedicated to this so that's why I deleted out all my pictures that I transferred over to my new phone and I can dedicate all these pictures specifically for my long-range precision shooting so if I want to take a video of somebody else shooting or anything like that or whatever then I could do that on this uh, phone here so anyway guys just think about taking one of these and uh, using it for a long-range shooting application I think that you will be uh, more than happy with that you did uh, because again it's basically free if you wanted to like I said if you want to pay for one of the more expensive um, uh, apps out there again you're talking I think the one of the most expensive apps I've seen is around the $30 mark so it's not even that expensive considering uh, what all information you're going to get and it makes it so much easier to shoot right so that's why I would recommend dedicating something like this uh, for your uh, long-range shooting applications but anyway guys appreciate you tuning in if you got any questions post those below if you like our videos give us a thumbs up that's always appreciated it's over there in that section also down in that section is the share button helps us get the word about uh, word out about guns and gear network and that's always greatly appreciated also as always guys like share and subscribe and we'll bring you another video shortly have a great day